Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to see the Grand Canyon. I'm so ridiculously excited. I've booked a helicopter tour. I'm just about to leave so that I can catch the shuttle bus to the helicopter place. And I'm gonna fly over the Grand Canyon and see it because I don't really have time to drive down and I'm a bit scared. I was a bit too scared to drive down, but I did not wanna leave this area. I didn't wanna leave Vegas without seeing the Grand Canyon because I figured, you know, can't do a west coast tour without seeing it kind of anyway i'm about to check out and um go and see it they said to dress casually but i don't know i kind of liked this outfit a little bit more so hopefully they won't be mad but i've got like <laughs> leggings and flats in my bag in case i have to change but i was just like if i'm gonna go see it in a helicopter if i'm gonna spend all this money um then i am gonna wear what i want <laughs> But yeah, I thought that I would vlog this because I thought it would be really helpful. I actually searched for so many vlogs on an experience like this and wasn't able to find that many that kind of talked through it. So I thought I would vlog this for you guys and share it with you. If any of you ever travel to Vegas or the Grand Canyon and you're thinking, what is a helicopter tour like? Well, you're about to see a very honest review of one um, because it's cost me a heck of a lot of money. They are not cheap, okay? Anyway, don't want to miss my best because I, I would literally, I would cry. I would chase after it. I would genuinely cry. Um, so yeah, let's go and see the Grand Canyon. I'm here um I've just checked in. I just have to watch like a safety video first um, and I'm gonna get some food because I don't eat for breakfast and I'm super, super hungry. But yeah, I'm really excited. I'm so, so glad I did this. Praying that I get a good seat on the helicopter because yeah, I wanna see everything. And even the drive over here was quite a long drive. It was like an hour long drive, but even that was quite good um, because just the views, like this place is like desert land and it's just very pretty. So yeah, gonna go grab some food and watch the safety video before I get ready to fly. I'm a little bit excited, just a little bit. These are so cute. I don't know whether to get one of these. These are super cute, so much memorabilia. I actually might have to get some gifts from here, guys. Take my money, Nevada, take my money. So many options. And I feel like it's a Christian company, so maybe my mum would really like it. So I just got a nice coffee, which apparently is Starbucks, but I'm not gonna lie, did not look like a Starbucks being made. <laughs> um, so I got a caramelized coffee and a breakfast burrito, and I got some ketchup because I am gonna stay basic. It is really hard to eat healthily here, especially because I really can't be asked. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get that, and then later on, just watch the video while I wait in the little waiting room. It's, uh, it's pretty sweet though, it's pretty chill. Beautiful weather and clear skies, thank the Lord. Bon appetit. City Air Tour Terminal. For your flight, it's important to acquaint yourself with the safety procedure. I'm so excited. Off we went. It was pretty insane. Um, as I said, this was my first time being in a helicopter and I did not know what to expect. It was a really smooth ride. Like my, you know when your tummy goes when you go over like a bumpy road? That didn't happen to me once. It was a really smooth ride. And that was of course because I had an amazing uh, pilot. 
um, but the views were incredible. What we basically had was like a headset that we would put on so we could hear everything the pilot said and as we flew over he told us loads of facts about the area, um, about yeah the Grand Canyon essentially and it was so so interesting then you had a microphone as well that you could use to ask questions i asked so many questions uh yeah so it was good fun i did get a window seat which i was really happy about however i feel like you could have seen everything really well even from a middle seat and um, so it wasn't a big deal either way they decide which seat that you get depending on your weight so you can't really swap that unless you pay extra to go at the front but yeah i think they try and distribute the weight i don't know according to some kind of helicopter rules which are way above my pay grade and um, so we saw some incredible sights I would talk you through all of the history and geography and facts of it but <laughs> I'm sorry you will have to google it because I cannot remember but I remember being completely awestruck at the time and oh my goodness unbelievable so yeah I had to cut down these clips loads because I was just filming non-stop the flight lasted about I'd say about 40 minutes ish and so I was filming non-stop and it was just pretty breathtaking. <laughs> there were seven of us on the helicopter, so three in the front including the pilot and four of us in the back. The tour that I had booked was a like 40-ish minute flight, half an hour on the actual floor of the Grand Canyon and the flight back. Um, I also booked, like also included in it was like a champagne lunch or whatever, which to be honest I wasn't really fussed about. I basically booked whichever flight um, suited my timings best, so I needed to be gone and back in time to go to San Francisco that night, so it was pretty tight, but I thought this was the best way to do it. Um, the tour that I booked was off the West Rim, but there are so many tour options on the website, so you can choose to go to the South Rim, and um, to do a walking tour, bus tour, um, uh, included along with the flight or you can do like a boat trip there's just so many options uh, but this was just the one that I chose to be honest I booked this on a whim in about like a 10 minute decision so there wasn't that much research that went into it uh, but I was pretty happy to land and see the western of the Grand Canyon my goodness you guys i cannot deal i cannot deal we've just landed at the bottom i can't jesus have mercy <laughs> i can't deal that was worth every single penny i kid you not take my money take take my money take my money i will work all the on calls in the world i will do all the overtime to do that again that was incredible insane the views were insane um, and i had the headphones on so i assume it's just going to be really noisy on the video but basically the tour guide was just telling us all the like incredible facts and history and yes i did wear these trousers so i thought they'd be cute and yes i'm wearing heels at the grand canyon <laughs> because i got a copper and i'm gonna be a diva but literally look at this place just look Incredible. Incredible. I can't deal with how beautiful that is. Honestly. We've landed and then we get like food and stuff, so I'm gonna go and follow the rest of the group and see what we're doing. So we got like a little champagne. Can I go the lead? There's a sandwich in here. Apple slices. It's about the same amount of time. Um, no, we're about 800 feet above the river. Okay. Close the leaf. Okay. Uh, we'll take care of that. So like I said before, if you want to take the feet later. Sorry, I'm almost watching. I've got my little glass of champagne. <laughs> Just gonna go for a yonder. A little explore. They said they were like dangerous 
animals and stuff here and like poisonous snakes and stuff but you know the Lord protects me no harm goodness okay I'm a bit I'm a little bit nervous now I can't do it's so beautiful it's really peaceful as well when the helicopters start going it's just like really quiet and like surreal Flotation devices. So I finished the flight now guys, it was incredible, I'm like sweating sorry, it's so hot out there. The flight was incredible, um, my pilot Scott was amazing, very funny guy, he actually said that this was his first time flying and I believed him, I didn't realise it was a joke so I was on the plane like do you know what? I had a first time first doing surgery, everyone has to learn, so I was like, it'll be fine in Jesus' name, but it wasn't, he was a really experienced pilot and it was just amazing, that was an incredible experience and I would definitely recommend it, no regrets, no regrets, Grand Canyon, tick, on to the next travelling, San Francisco, here we go. Thanks so much for joining me on this vlog. I really hope that you've enjoyed watching it and sharing this experience with me and that it's kind of given you an eye into what they do here and what it's like flying for your first time and seeing how it all works. I hope you enjoyed the beautiful views. I'm still, I'm still lost for words. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video, uh, probably from San Francisco. Got an ice cream, strawberry shortcake because Yes, <laughs> because I don't need a reason. I'm on holiday and I'll do what I want. <laughs> so, so good. So just waiting for the shuttle bus back now to my hotel. And then I will chill somewhere, maybe get even more food and wait to go to San Francisco overnight tonight. <laughs>